Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Life with Nicole Marie and Gary. Today, you guys, I'm going to be making cornbread waffle. If you guys haven't seen my last video, please check it out. I made uh, chili, so we're going to have um, some chili and cheese over our cornbread waffles. And I'm going to follow the recipe here on the cornmeal package. And I have got all my stuff out here, <laughs> so let's get started. Hey you guys, so it calls for one and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Next it calls for three quarters cup of your cornmeal. And you guys can use uh, the box stuff too, but if you're diabetic, You'll want to make your own because the box stuff has got a lot of sugar in it opposed to what you would have uh, making on your own. Next is two teaspoons of baking powder. Calls for a half a teaspoon of salt. So I just sprinkle some in there. You can use any sweetener of your choice, you guys. It calls for a quarter cup of sugar. I'm just using our Splenda, so I just put a couple in tablespoons in there of it. You don't want it too sweet. And you gotta be careful with even artificial sweeteners. Combine all your dry ingredients, whisk it, stir it, whatever you got to do. Um, so we'll get our, our ingredients combined and then we'll get on to the wet ingredients. It calls for one cup of, of skim milk, so I made my milk, you guys know we use powdered milk. Quarter cup of oil, I'm going to use real butter. I just lightly melt it in the microwave. It calls for either two egg whites or one whole egg. I'm adding in one whole egg. We're gonna go ahead and get that egg and everything combined in there together. All right, we're gonna go ahead, add our liquid to our dry, and we're gonna get it, it all incorporated together. At this point, you wanna preheat your waffle iron. If it's really thick like it is right now, I think I'm gonna add a little more a little more water because I want it a little loose you know I don't want it too too thick just a little And if you have leftovers of this, when you, after you're done making your waffles, they freeze great. You can reheat them in your air fryer or however. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let this rest here for a minute. And while it's resting, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the waffle iron. Also to you guys, this is a brand new waffle maker we got. got a little flour on there when I was mixing stuff. But anyways, I've never used this uh, type of a waffle maker before but it's the one where you can turn it over so <laughs> how cool is that Walmart special all right you guys our waffle maker is heated 
I'm gonna go ahead and give her a little spritz. Go ahead. Pour my batter in. And this, you guys can make it as big or small as you like. We'll just help it spread out. This might be, this is my first one, so this might be a little thickly here. That's all right. And we'll let her do her thing. All right, you guys, it said about three to six minutes. I don't suggest using metal on it on it, but there was one. I think I'm gonna go a little lighter, a little lighter on, on this next one. I'm just gonna do a scoop on that one. Maybe a scoop and a half. You can make these as small or as big as you like. Let's go ahead and see what that does. So this is this one right here. Yeah, she's looking good. We'll come back with the other one. So this is the smaller one, y'all. So I say, I say, if you want a good waffle, that I would, I would use two scoops. You want a good size one. And trust me, these are more than likely filling. Let me get this thing filled up. Okay, you guys, so this last one is done here. I'm going to go ahead and get it off of uh, the waffle maker. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to heat up the chili, get the che cheese grated, and we'll be on to dressing up the waffles. All right, you guys, I got the hilly, the, the chili, I got the hilly, got the chili heated up. Oh. Look at that. How much more? There. You want more? No, I want you that. From. Oh, guys, I, I guess Gary's going to share. Cake. <laughs> you can top your stuff, y'all, with whatever you like. But look at that. I mean, you can't go wrong, right? Mmm. Look at that. There. Want more cheese? No, a little bit. A little bit more cheese? There you go. That's perfect. Okay. What do y'all think? Ooh, she is beautiful. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, you guys. Uh, please give this a try. Let me know what you think. These waffle makers are so universal. They're talking about you could do sandwiches in it and stuff like this. Ooh. I'm going to top mine with some sour cream. Gary don't want sour cream. But thank you guys for watching and stay blessed. Have a wonderful day. Bye, y'all.